Hey everyone, Amy Shearer Title here at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, and I am so excited that I am about to talk to astronauts Scott Kelly and Kel Lindgren on board the International Space Station. We're going to be talking NASA's year in space and the journey to Mars. How do you think your time on board the ISS is a good analog for the challenges of a mission to Mars? Well, I think, you know, the duration it's going to take to get there is somewhere, you know, probably around the six month, uh, you know, flight and it depends on orbital, orbital mechanics and how much uh, propulsion you want to use and the technology. But, uh, you know, from that perspective, I think it's pretty similar. Also, the life support system we have up here is uh, you know something that we're going to need to to go to Mars, and I think we do a good job in uh, you know, demonstrating that that we have that capability. So um, you know, with the exception of what you do when you get on the surface and the you know the re or the entering entering into Martian atmosphere and the and the return from the surface, I think there are a lot of similarities. You know, having to get all the training that we need in order to do the repairs that we have on station um, and to really have the mindset to be able to be in an enclosed space for a long duration of time with other crew members uh, to, to be prepared for that. That will definitely be something that's a part of a, a Mars mission. The psychology of being in space must be very different. I can only imagine being able to see the Earth versus not seeing the Earth. How do you think, um, how do you think that will differ for a crew going to Mars, the psychology of being in space? Yeah, it will differ. There's no doubt about that. You know, we can look out the window and see see the Earth in, uh, you know, all its beauty at, uh, you know, different, you know, times of, of day. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, sometimes it's during the day, sometimes it's night. I don't think uh, something that people really appreciate is that when you're going to Mars, you know, you're in sunlight all the time. You know, every time you look out the window, you, it's not like you're going to see stars. You're going to see nothing because the sun is going to be so bright on your whole trip there. So, uh, you know, after a few days and you can no longer see Earth, it's, uh, it's going to feel like you're really uh, out in the middle of nowhere and you're on your own. There's obviously a lot of things that I can only imagine you both miss about Earth. What do you think is going to be the, the biggest challenge from a, a personal human level for a crew going to Mars? And what has surprised you being on the ISS that we might not think about when we're talking about a journey to Mars in terms of things you miss, things that are really going to make it hard for a crew being that far from home? Well, one thing I miss here is the ability to leave. <laughs> so even though this is an amazing place and it's a privilege to get to fly in space, you never get to go outside. You're not leaving. And, uh, you know, that's something that the folks going to Mars are going to experience, too. Uh, the one difference is, you know, in an emergency, we can we can go home and we can be there pretty quickly if we really had to. I think the other big difference is going to be our ability to communicate with folks on the ground. It's a you know a real advantage we have both uh you know operationally and and from a personal level to be able to get on the phone and call people but uh you know pretty soon after we depart mars for mars you know you're going to get a time delay uh in communication such that it's not going to be usable so you know that's going to play a big uh, have a you know big impact on the psychology psychology of the of the trip when you start a mission like this, you know, a five-month month mission or a year mission like Scott is doing, um, and for those uh, crew members that will eventually go to Mars, I think you start out with a mindset, though. You start out with, uh, um, you anticipate kind of what the challenges are going to be, and uh, I think one of the things that I've experienced up here is, that's surprised me a little bit is really how uh, adaptable the human uh, brain and psychology is, you know. I think that you adapt to the conditions and, and, and quickly normalize to them. So the fact that communications will be a little bit delayed, um, I think you're still going to treasure that opportunity to talk with friends and family, um, even though there, though there is a little bit of a delay. And, uh, and I think that you're going to have this long trip that's really kind of set in your mind already. And so that will make things a little bit easier. Well, that was pretty incredible. Astronauts are on board the International Space Station right now, running experiments that are helping push us forward to Mars. Not only are they working on the technological elements, but the human elements, because a journey to Mars is hard.